and welcome to weekly reflection with Sonia Rodriguez. Today is Wednesday, the 12th of January, 2022. We are going to reflect on the gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, verses 29 to 39. Let's open our hearts and listen. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's world is filled with sensational news reports and dramatic news updates. Anything and everything becomes breaking news now. Moreover, the authenticity of the information circulated across mediums is very questionable. Facts and figures are often manipulated to present a picture that is not always the truth. In today's Gospel, we see how Jesus heals Peter's mother-in-law. The news about this healing along with the healing of the man with the unclean spirit at the synagogue, quickly spreads all over the region. As a result, many more who needed to be cured gathered at their door with a great sense of expectancy. What fascinated me about this miracle was the response of Peter's mother-in-law to her healing. Firstly, she didn't just say thank you and continue sleeping or doing nothing. Having been unwell since a long time, she may have still felt a bit weak or tired after being healed, but that didn't stop her. She got up and expressed her gratitude to Jesus by serving him and the ones around. Secondly, she didn't dismiss her healing as something small and insignificant, thinking it was just a fever. Through word of mouth, she shared the news of her healing with everyone she knew resulting in the news spreading swiftly around. She didn't choose to keep the blessing of a miracle to herself, but chose to share it with others. Thus, by bearing witness, she drew many more to Jesus. Have we been healed by Jesus or experienced miracles in our life? Have we found impossible situations turned around by his loving grace and mercy? Have we seen his provision in times of need and felt his protection from harm and danger? Have we acknowledged his supreme sacrifice of love for us on the cross? I am sure it is a yes to some or all of these questions. So then, have we borne witness to his mighty works in our life? Have we testified to others about the blessings we have received and shared our experiences with them? But why is it important to do so? Well. First, it develops in us an attitude of gratitude towards all aspects of life. Second, it provides us an opportunity to praise and glorify God for everything. Third, it reminds us of our absolute dependency on Him and keeps us humble. Fourth, it becomes a powerful sign of God's unfailing promises. Fifth, it gives hope and encouragement to others and strengthens their faith. Sixth, it gives us the privilege to point others towards Christ. And seventh, 
it helps us to use our many gifts and talents to fulfill his great commission jesus reminds us in matthew chapter 5 verse 15 no one after lighting a lamp puts it under the bushel basket but on the lamp stand and it gives light to all in the house let us not hide the blessings we have received or keep secret the miracles we have experienced instead let us display them prominently and declare them purposefully so that everyone can see and hear them through this our lives as well as the lives of the ones around us will be lit up with his love this is the kind of true breaking news that the world desperately needs today let us pray Dear Lord, we thank you for the many miracles, big and small, that you have worked in our life. We are grateful for the blessings you ceaselessly shower upon us. Forgive us for the times we fail to testify about your mighty works and to share our amazing experiences with others. Help us to be your ambassadors and witnesses in this world, through word and deed, so that we can guide people towards you. We ask all of this in the mighty holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.